know, it doesn't matter how many auxiliary batteries you have, the key to staying out in the bush for longer is solar. You see, to boil it down, a solar panel will harness the sun's energy to charge your battery so you don't have to start your vehicle. On the 79, I have a hard-mounted 150-watt Red Arc solar panel, and in the 80, I've got a solar blanket in the back for extended stays. The basic portable solar panels you can get can be attached straight to your battery. However, for a neater and easier way to get solar to your batteries, you can get a DC-DC battery charger that accepts solar input as well as alternator input. All of these Red Arc chargers have a built-in regulator. The reason you need a regulator is that a solar panel provides too high a voltage to connect directly to a battery. Solar regulators take this input from the solar panels and convert this to a safe output voltage to charge a battery. In good sun, a 150 watt solar panel can be pumping in around 8 to 10 amps into your batteries while you relax at camp. And better yet, these chargers here have a Red Arc innovation called Green Power Priority, a feature that will always use any available solar panel and work together with the alternator to provide charge required by the battery. For example, if your vehicle has a BC-DC 25 amp charger and is running the solar panels and they're providing say 10 amps, the BC-DC will only demand 15 amps from the vehicle. This reduces the electrical load on the vehicle. Having a well thought out solar system means you can leave camp when you want to, not when your batteries run flat and you have to.